Okay, so we are getting to be at about 14 weeks before the last frost date here in uh, Zone 3, Saskatchewan. And I have found these flowers here the other day that I'm going to try growing. And it's an ornamental grass called pampas grass. And I just thought it was very pretty. I have seen this in planters um, in the city near where I work out on the city streets in some of the city planters as a a nice center in a big container so I think this is the same kind of grass and I would like to try growing it and I see here it says it needs to be started 10 to 12 to 14 weeks before last frost so we're right at that point right now it is a perennial grass um, in zone 7 but here um, in this zone with our our cold winters this would probably only work as an annual so I'm going to try starting it and uh, put it under the lights and hopefully we can get um, some of this going you can also uh, dry it out and use an indoor arrangement so if it all works out maybe I'll get a good year's uh, use out of this so I'm going to be using this container so this is a muffin container it's got the nice domed lid on it and six compartments that you can start seeds in so I think this would make a good thing to start them in under the lights um, they'll get a lot of nice humidity I'm gonna just poke a few holes in the bottom so I can bottom water this as well and I just have my starting soil here sterilizing I've poured some boiling water on it to um, just to make sure it maybe kills off any fungus gnat eggs that might be in the soil and covered it up with a tin foil just to keep the heat in for a while um, I just learned that tip from watching a video of Sherry's from um, gardening in the north so be sure to check out her channel she gives lots of great tips she's another great uh, Canadian gardener as well so thank you Sherry so I'm just going to cool this off a little bit more and fill up these containers and then we'll, I'll show you what the seeds look like. Okay, so I have my little uh, compartments here filled up with some seed starting mix and I'm going to use this aluminum uh, pan as my tray. And once these start get sprouted and growing I will just use this tray and I can bottom water from there so I'm just going to check out what these seeds look like so I think you can get an idea of what these look like they kind of look like a grassy type seed that you would expect so I am just going to spread them out amongst these six cells here and uh, we'll see what happens. It says on the package they should be spread I think half an inch apart so I think if I can get a few going in each compartment that should be good to start. So I'm pretty sure I have overseeded these by quite a bit, but I'm going to see how they germinate and thin them out if I have to afterwards. I'm just going to give a light layer of vermiculite on the top, and then we'll give it a spritz with the water bottle. Almost looks like some delicious uh, cupcakes in there right now. OK, 
Okay. So we can just snap the lid on here now. Put it in this tray. And there's even room for some more things to start here on the other side. So I better start looking to see what else I can add into this. So this is ready to go under the grow lights. Okay, so I have this set up underneath this um, LED grow light here, and um, I changed up my tray that I'm using because this one actually fits the whole shelf nicely. So I can just put this right in here and bottom water using this tray and add some more um, other seedlings here once I get them going. I put a few pieces of wood underneath just to bring this right up as close as I can to the light. I'm not sure. Um, with the about three inches of this dome here, it's um, if that's going to be too far away um, for it to germinate. So I'm not quite sure yet if the muffin tin container is going to be a winner or a um, in this um, to start seeds in. So we will check back in a few days. We'll keep the uh, the top moist, uh, spritz it down every day, and I will. Uh, get back to you once it germinates or if it germinates and let you know how it turned out. So thank you for watching.